Nevada's unemployment agency is still playing catch up more than seven months into the pandemic. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears has been holding Dieter accountable from the start and checked back in with the agency thousands say has let them down. I mean, this has been months. You can't figure it out by now. I've exhausted all resources trying to get through to Dieter. I cannot reach them. Well, I feel as though I don't exist. You know, um, they don't care. You know, I'm nobody. Started calling at 8 o'clock in the morning and I get a recording that's all lines are busy at 8.01. Uh, please try your call again later. There's frustration. My family needs to survive and we need to eat. And then there's a deeper level, helpless. I, I don't know what else to do. I, 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 I'm at a complete impasse. I've, I've never imagined anything like this. Kimberly Sperry feels like her life is on hold. She has a mobile spray tanning and beauty business. Due to COVID, I was completely shut down and I don't really have any work at this point. She applied for pandemic unemployment assistance in March. Her Dieter dashboard shows she's eligible for $469 a week, but she hasn't received a penny. You know, I have a family and I need to support them and not being able to you know, get an answer at least, maybe something. Easier said than done. Kimberly sent 13 investigates this recent screenshot showing she'd been on hold with Dieter for nine and a half hours. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's not right. You know, I, I mean, are they taking calls for the whole country at this point? I mean, come on. When Dieter, the State Department of Employment, Training and Rehabilitation, took over the phone lines after firing third party call center Alorica, they promised it would get better. They've hired, you know, I don't know, hundreds of people supposedly to, to help out. And I mean, I'm, I haven't received any help whatsoever. Claimants say it's only gotten worse. I guess they just want to keep our money and not answer any telephones and so on and so forth. I'm just so frustrated with this banana republic that we live in. It's beyond frustrating to have to wait for hours to speak to someone on the phone. Dieter Rapid Response Strike Force leader Barbara Buckley. Dieter leadership in working with the strike force is very concerned about the call volume, right? I mean, right now it's unacceptable. Um, people can't get through. And so that's why the resources are already being adjusted this week and further adjustments will be done next week. This week, Dieter added 10 claims examiners to take calls. These are experienced UI adjudicators who are being placed on the phone that can basically answer questions and fix claims without even the need for a callback. Another 20 workers from the state's welfare department are being added to the PUA callback lines. At the same time, claims are poor, still pouring in the doors. In the last four days, we had thousands and thousands of new claims that we believe are all fraudulent. And they continue to kind of slow down finding the legitimate claims. When Dieter took over the call center from Alorica, most of the staff was put on resolving PUA cases in the backlog. And the good news is that we went from over 210,000 cases in the backlog, and now we, were, we are under 10,000. And in the last two weeks, 12,000 cases got processed. So we are approaching the end of the PUA backlog. Kimberly Sperry is one of those stuck at the end. To her, all of this sounds like... More empty promises. To be honest, the 400 new hires Dieter has brought on since August have had to go through training and get up to speed in processing claims. So the help is slower than we want to ramp up to help people. Traditional unemployment claims are backlogged too. So the UI backlog is still large. Um, it's, you know, it's about folks are waiting about four months. Once the PUA backlog is eliminated, Buckley says staff will be shifted to help with regular UI. You know, there isn't one place in the unemployment system that doesn't have a line. 
That includes appeals. Dieter is currently hiring appeals workers, even asking attorneys to help part-time. As for the lost wages assistance from FEMA, Buckley says all PUA claimants should have received the first three weeks and UI should be done by the end of this week. But 13 Investigates learned there's some bad news on that front. Nevadans will get less from Dieter than originally thought. Because FEMA gave them a lump sum amount, and not guarantees on the week, their best guess was that the state was going to get four to five weeks, not the six. For Kimberly and the thousands of others like her, they need to fix this. I mean, this is my life. Buckley has this promise. They have committed to reducing these hold times and doing whatever it takes to do so. So um, if they have to contract with and add 45 additional staff. They told me this week they will do that. So uh, I have their word and um, I will hold them to it. We want you to hold them to it as well. Over the next week or so, if you're still waiting for hours on hold or simply can't get through, let us know. We will continue holding Dieter's feet to the fire. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.